on desktops, um, when you go between like Windows and Linux and Solaris and, and uh, OS X is actually the flakiest platform, but on desktops it works really well. You know, that's, that's one area where it works great. And the, in server environments, um, you know, going between, you know, IBM boxes and Sun boxes and HP boxes and Dell boxes, that it's almost completely transparent. Um, where things are a little rocky is with cell phone handsets. And part of that is there have been a reasonable number of generations of the handsets. Part of it is that the, and actually most of it these days is the fact that you know there's this sort of core API, the, the CLDC, um, that's used on the small handsets. And then there are all these secondary APIs that may or may not be present that are sort of optional. Um, there, but there are so many optional APIs, and the different handset manufacturers make different choices, that it gets really difficult. Um, and you know, many of the, the, the handset designs are, are fairly old, and most of these things have you know, new generations that are you know, much smoother. Um, and so, you know, there, there, there's this new Java ME spec, this thing called MSA, which is really, you know, the standard mid piece spec, which is sort of the core thing with a standard set of APIs so that developers can depend on certain things. Um, and, you know, that seems to be helping a lot. Um, but just the, the incredible number of, of, of handsets, the number of generations of handsets. Um, and, and there, there, there's some, you know, and, and, and you know, through through things like, 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 like MSA, um, we're really trying to make that whole story a lot better. Um, the variability amongst the handsets has been um, a really, a really painful thing for us. But getting getting all these all these folks who you know hate each other at some level and you know because you know, they're all competitors um, to sort of get along better has been you know, something of a challenge. Um, is FX solve a bit of that problem? Or yeah. So so the way that FX works is um, that the uh, the way that the compiler and the, the tools work. Um, is you can actually tell it to, you know, target this platform or that platform. And, you know, th this morning you saw the, the same app, uh, you know, really very much the same app run, you know, as, a, as an applet in a web page, as a regular CLDC app, and as, a, and as an Android app. Um, and, 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 and the, the FX compiler sort of abstracts away a lot of the, the low-level details. Um, some things, you know, are inherently never going to be, you know, abstractable, and probably the, the hardest thing to deal with is the fact that there's just, you know, small screens and big screens, they're just different. You know, you want to think about how you do user inter interaction differently. Um, but you know, we, we're, we're definitely expecting to be in a place where, you know, at least amongst things with fairly, fairly similar facilities, like you know, smaller screens and a, and, a, and a keyboard, that things do actually move back and forth pretty easily. Um, there are third-party tools around that, that, that actually sort of level out the playing field for, for some of these things by, by mapping. You know, between the, the the various quirks of the different manufacturers, but um, you know, it's 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 something that's it's definitely getting a lot of attention. <laughs>